Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to another very special episode of the Soul Talk podcast. Coot here. I am, you know, really excited about my special guest today. I really admire his work tremendously and uh, enjoyed his, his work. Just his work has inspired me. The book of Awakening. He's an author of the book of Awakening, having the life you want by being present to the life that you have. True inspiration. Um, you're gonna love it. We've had amazing guests on, folks, but I think my guest today really embodies uh, what Soul Talk is about. He's moved and inspired readers, seekers all over the world with the Book of Awakening, and I think he's about to come out with his 21st book, which uh, I started reading. Drinking from the River of Light, The Life of Expression. And we're going to get into all topics about life and living and just authenticity and creativity. He uh, also wrote more together than alone, things that join the sea and the sky and many others. Welcome to the conversation, the amazing Mark Nepo. Welcome to Soul Talk, Mark. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad to be here with you. Yeah, it's really, uh, really a thrill to have you on and uh, have, have a bunch of questions for you. Uh, I know you're a poet, a philosopher, a, you know, a spiritual teacher for, I think, probably over 40 years now. And uh, so I'm curious, especially for those that, you know, those, those in my audience that may not know of your work yet, I'm excited for them to know, know of your work, but those that may not know of your work, uh, I was always curious, just always like to find out a bit about the journey of, of, of those I'm speaking to. And I mean, what, what is the path to being a poet and, and, and uh, a, a philosopher? I mean, it's not like they really teach that in kindergarten or, you know, high school. I'm just curious, I'm curious how that happens. Can you break that down a bit? <laughs> well, yeah, thank you. So, um you know, I think that that and 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 let me also couch this in in the context that 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 everyone uh, has those these capabilities within them, and we'll we'll get into that a bit as well. And um, but you know, I, start, I, I when I look back, and I'm 68, and um, I, I mean that seemed really old to me when I was young. It doesn't seem old now, and uh, and you know, but when I was a, even a little boy. Before I had language for any of this, the world, always, life, always spoke to me through metaphor. I mean, I didn't even know what metaphor was till I was late, later, got older. But, but it felt like I, when I was alone, I was never alone. And that you know, the wind through the trees would be saying, "Listen, look, look, what is this like? Listen, I have a lesson for you." And you know, and as I got you know, a little older in high school and growing up, and of course, came the first, the first fall in love. And, and I really started writing uh, because that first woman that I fell in love with, you know, dumped me, and, uh, which is archetypal, as, as all of it happens to all of us. And, and, you know, at that point, I wasn't like a loner, but I didn't have, I didn't develop true true intimate friends until I went to college. So I had lots of acquaintances, but you know, I began to write uh, as a way to keep myself company through healing, through the heartache and um, Mm -hmm. of having a brush with love and and then it's gone. And, And then as I started to heal, I realized I wasn't really talking to myself. I had begun a conversation with the universe that life had, that does for all of us, had opened my heart and broken it open. And now there was a, uh, an inlet between in me and the rest of the world and the universe. And, and the life of expression, as we'll get to talk about, is, is the way we move in and out of that inlet that is our heart. And so, you know, I uh, began to write and uh, suddenly, you know, somewhere along the way, I started to realize, oh, somebody said this is poetry, and you know, um, and I and I did realize when I was in college, in quite a, a flash of intuition, um, that I was a poet. In fact, even though I hadn't written very much, and I was, I went to uh, a state school in upstate New York, City, Cortland, and uh, this is in 1969, and um, 
and I was uh, going down this, you know, like a lot of college towns, the school was on a hill and around anywhere that you fell off the hill, there were just bars everywhere, you know, and I was going downtown as a freshman one day, one after late afternoon to explore all of that. And, and a wind went past my ear and stopped me from behind my head. And it, and I, I almost, almost could see the wind reach across the valley to the next mountain. And I saw that same wind brush the trees on the far horizon. And I understood the reach. And in that moment, against all logic, I knew I was a poet. 